What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now I got a message from a friend of mine, I'm going to put his Instagram here. Now he owns a dealership here in Monaco, I'm going to put their Instagram here. And he sent me a message asking if I wanted to see a brand new Porsche. So I came straight down to have a look at his brand new Porsche 992 Turbo S because I'd never seen one before. I've been lucky enough to actually drive a Porsche 992, but I'd never seen, let alone driven, a uh, Turbo S. So today we can't drive this car because it's actually going straight into his dealership as a brand new car, and we don't want to put any miles whatsoever on it. So we're not even driving it back to the dealership, literally just out here with the roof down. We're hoping it's not going to rain so that we can show it to you guys because it is an absolute stunner. Now, we recently made a video on the Porsche 991 Turbo S where I fell a little bit in love with that car and with the turbo form and format uh, of 911s. So naturally, I'm super excited to see this. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to drive one at some point soon. Um, but I think this angle right here, I'm sure you've seen it all over Instagram and stuff. People have been talking about it loads, is stunning. And for me, potentially even one of the best looking Porsches they've ever made. I think it's absolutely incredible. They've uh, made it a little bit larger than it was before and even larger than the you know Carreras and things like that because even the standard 992s now are quite a bit wider. So yeah, just the dimensions of the car just work so well. I love this new LED bar which goes across all the back. So this arcs back to a more traditional 911s from back in the day when they used to have this. And it's now also got a very modern touch which is a 3D Porsche logo. This is completely 3D, really, really cool looking. And then obviously the 911 Turbo S down here. Now the exhaust tips have changed. So I, this I'm not so sure about. There used to be four kind of slightly lopsided square exhaust tips two oval ones now which are basically exactly the same as what you get on a GT2 RS. I think the, the square ones was kind of like a traditional uh, turbo mark and you would notice it from a mile away. So I think that would have been cool to keep but these still look really good. There's a new air outlet here which didn't exist before so that's letting air out which comes in up above there and comes straight back out here so to help the car aerodynamically. Bigger outlets right here um, which don't have any little bars in front of them now so those look awesome and obviously the new lights and a much bigger wing a wing which uh, is actually adjustable so this goes up and down we'll show you it, it works the split around front as well there's a huge rear wing right here and um, it actually adjusts as well depending on how you're driving how much air is flowing through the wing it can adjust its angle automatically which is really cool so they've really looked into how to make the air travel best as possible in and around the car so for example these uh, air inlets that are here to cool down the engine and that used to be a turbo trademark now on several different models have been made a little bit smaller because obviously they represent quite a bit of drag. 21 inch rear wheels. Now the wheel design on these is pretty similar to what a Porsche tuner called Techart used to make. And now it's kind of cool to see that Porsche uh, are bringing that now back on their standard Turbo S. 21 inch center locks on carbon ceramic standard brakes. Now, I'm just noticing it's starting to rain, isn't it? So just quickly, I'm gonna put the roof up because we don't wanna get this interior a single bit dirty. So start it up. Here you go, press, pull the trigger button, whatever you call it, and roof goes up really quick, really smooth. Now it's a cloth roof still on these. Right, we can continue talking. It is keyless go, so you have this little thing here and you can just keep the key in your pocket. Uh, where were we? We were right around here. So yeah, I mean, it looks pretty different once you've got the roof up, but pretty cool as well. Awesome looking thing. So when you lock the car, don't know if you noticed that, down here, the door handle actually goes flush with the door. So that allows air to travel and go straight into this air vent right here. Whereas when you come to open it, it pops out and then you can open the door which is a pretty ingenious way to get rid of the drag created by a door handle. Around front, you've obviously got slightly bigger wheels. You've still got this carbon ceramic brakes, of course. New wing mirror design, which has been slightly differed uh, on all 992s. And then we've got the new front end. So slightly um, adjusted new lights. Uh, so Porsche LED matrix system, which is kind of a cool name. Slightly adjusted front LED running lights as well. And a new slightly improved front splitter. So this comes down, again, you press a button and it comes down and helps with the airflow. But when you don't want to be so low, you can put that up and basically you can take this car anywhere. And then obviously you've got the cruise control radars at the front. Uh, yeah, awesome looking thing. A uh, few little details they've done as well as they've made the front here a lot more boxy, a lot more square. So even the boot and the way that's laid out and these two, it's kind of like a double bubble boot 
whereas it used to be completely flat. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it design-wise. Let's hop into the interior. I'll tell you about the interior, all the buttons and sound, and then we can talk about the engine and the performance. Oh, oh, you know, and it smells so new in a car. Such a nice smell. Actually, before I close the door, while the light's still on it, this stitching is a Turbo Air Special. Uh, that doesn't come standard on the 992 Carreras, as well as on the seats. So extra stitching on these new design seats, uh, which are similar in all the Carreras. What's quite cool is you can tighten the bolsters even down bottom here to really make it feel like a bucket seat. Still got two little small back seats in the Turbo because quite a few people will go, you know, you put your kids back there or you can put some groceries, whatever you may need. Now, it is the brand new 992 interior. Complete change. Uh, this is almost, I'd say, where you see most of the differences between the 991.2 uh, and the 992. So let's start with what's directly in front of me. This new steering wheel uh, on which you have all of the driving modes. Let's start the car up so that we can make the most of all of this stuff. So you have different driving modes here uh, on the Turbo S, which you can flick through and if you close your door, it will then show us on this screen. So, Porsche's 911s have always traditionally had five circles. I'm sure there's a more appropriate name for them. I call them the five circles. So like a Cayman and things like that will only have three. The 911 will always have five. And previously, one of them was digital on the 991.2. And now four of them, four of the five are digital. They've left the rev counter analog, which is really cool, big in the middle. Whereas all the rest is digital and you can actually change. Uh, what you have on each screen. So for example, this can do that screen right there. It's all a bit confusing. You do need to get a little bit more used to it. See, I can change all the information I'm getting in front here, but this stays fairly standard. Whereas on this screen, I can literally change from maps where you can see that we're on uh, the port in Monaco. Um, you can have your trip information, uh, all of your oil pressures, etc., temperatures, blah, 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 blah. And here, your different modes. So you have five modes in this car. Now you see them on this screen here or as you're changing, you can see them right here as well. So you've got wet, normal, sport, sport plus and individual. So if we go sport plus, cause that's definitely the most fun of the modes. Individual is a mode you can set up yourself. So you can choose your suspension. If you want it hard, normal with the exhaust open, exhaust closed, um, all sorts of different things. And this is a shortcut button towards your individual mode. I've just noticed something on this image here. You know how I was saying that the exhausts, they should keep the four square exhausts. Well, on this image here they do, which means there must be an option to do that. And now that I've seen that, it's true. I have seen photos like that. So yeah, that, that was not correct. I apologize. It's hard to know every single little detail, but cool that you can do the four exhausts. They, they actually look sick. This is obviously a shortcut button towards the exhaust valves, open or close. You can also use the touch screen for all of that. Obviously it has its traction on and off. And this again, a shortcut button for your suspension mode, normal or sport. We'll leave that in sport. So whoever drives this, first i was going to say next but first we'll uh, have a good time uh, you can also from here do the wing put the wing up and down which is a pretty cool feature uh, then when you go underneath from here it's all touch screen so you have your front and rear unfogging and then analog buttons uh, which you can press here for your climate control and then obviously volume and and an analog control for the screen which is a fully touch screen brand new screen as well much bigger uh, much more clear, really responsive, really clean looking, and also nicely kind of shadowed from this little platform above it so the sun doesn't go into it too much. Controversial point, the gear shifter right here. You can no longer change gear with the gear shifter. Before, if you put it into manual mode, you could, you know, kind of use the gear shifter to go up and down. Whereas now, you have it either in manual or auto, manual, you just press here and you need to be in drive. And when you press that, but your manual, you use uh, the paddles in front of you. Whereas here, yeah, you can no longer use the shifter to actually shift uh, gears, which some people apparently really liked for drifting, for example. Heated seats, and then obviously the roof control down here. And that's pretty much it for the interior. I mean, really nice feeling, even though it is the, the cabriolet, you don't feel like you're in a cab at all when you're in here. It's really silent uh, and you kind of forget. So they've done a really, really awesome job with that. You've got this massive cup holder here, which you never had, by the way, in 911s uh, before. It used to be hidden right here in the old 991s. You've still got one hidden right there, which pops out. And you've still got a Bose sound system down there. Now this car, it's a 3.7 liter classic Porsche engine twin turbo and it produces 650 horsepower and 800 newton meters 
of torque. And that allows it to do 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds, which is faster than a Bugatti Veyron, to put it into perspective. So this thing is an animal. Now, obviously, this isn't really a uh, driving video, so I can't tell you how it behaves. I'm sure it's stupidly fast, and I'm sure it's stupidly uh, fun as well, and annoyingly usable. But yeah, I, I really like it. I think in terms of design, they've done it really well. This cabin inside, when I first got into a 992, a Carrera, I thought it was too almost Panamera, like it was too comfortable and kind of took the character away from the 992, uh, which I still stand by on the Carrera. I think it's a beautiful interior. You can't fault it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's maybe too good, if that makes sense. And it makes the car feel a little bit too much like a, a luxury car almost rather than a sports car. Whereas I think that suits the turbo really well. I think that's what you want a turbo to be, you know? So it'll be interesting to see when it's the Carrera GTS and the GT3s, how they manage to still make it feel raw and like a sports car. Whereas turbo, I think this interior suits it really well. It's comfortable, it's luxurious, yet you're kind of still sat quite low in the car. Um, so I think it suits this version of car perfectly. And turbo S cab for down here, pretty perfect. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Huge thank you to Johnny. We'll put his Instagram and of course to Stars Monte Carlo for lending us yet another car. Awesome stuff they've got coming in stock, which is why we're filming so much with them at the moment. Um, so please give them a little follow on their Instagram pages, both Johnny and Stars, because um, yeah, it's just our way of saying thank you for letting us film with these cars. So awesome stuff. Uh, this car is available. Uh, for sale at Stars Monte Carlo. So if you're interested, it's the first one available currently in France. It's on their website. So thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.